hey guys welcome good morning welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is vicky and if you've seen me for the very first time hi please consider to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that youtube will inform you whenever i post any videos and please give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section i really really do love to read from you guys and not those of you who keep dropping to drop negative comments and abuses on my channel i will block you i have gotten to that point i will block you first of all let me just address what has been going on you know some of you come to my channel insulting me saying that i hate erica saying that i'm being biased guys i report it as it be i report it as my own opinion you can drop your opinion without being insolent you can drop your opinion without insulting me i don't need to find anybody or to stand anybody i am not standing anybody i am analyzing the show so whatever erica is doing if lucy is the one doing it i will report it as it is whatever erica is doing if even if it was kaisha that was doing it even if it is um, watoni that has left that is doing it even if whoever it is that is doing it i will report it as it is i am not biased about it when nengi does her own i report it when lucy is fighting i report it so please take each and every of my video with a pinch of salt and do not come to my channel to insult me that i'm taking erica this i'm taking erica that erica is doing this erica is doing because erica is the most controversial in that big brother house at the moment you get so it doesn't mean that i am reporting her because i hate her no hate is a very strong word to use so guys be guided and do not come to my channel and tell me i hate anyone because i don't have strength to hate anyone so that's just what i want to put out there and yes i came again with erica's erica's um gist you get yeah i came she's part of the gist she's part of the that i'm about to do this morning what are you guys expecting from from anna proko and amebo i beg deal with it it's what it is you know if your favorite is not making you happy it's not in my place to 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 come and take the blame you get so guys yesterday was the eviction night and ebuka came and shook some tables yeah you heard me ebuka shook tables because he keep kept asking questions that will scatter everything he kept asking questions that will break table he asked um um, um lacon about erica and kid wire's relationship and lacon was like whatever they're having if they are happy about it that he's fine by it he doesn't know if he's real or not because that's what ebuka was asking and ebuka also asked tolani badge was talking about how asked erica saying that tolani badge actually told her that he she likes new and she wants to scatter the relationship between new and them um, v and v was really pissed and she was like she did not care about it and ebuka was like but you advised her to go ahead she said that's not what she actually said that she only told her that if, if that's what she wants to do that she, in her own opinion she cared less and i'm sure i'm sure she was just in retaliation of what v actually said last week because v said she chose lacon over erica and i'm sure erica has been pissed about the whole thing that actually happened and then we went about to talk about how neo wants to put if they feel neo wants to put a misunderstanding between ozo and nengi and she was like what's going on there because they asked about the ozo and nengi relationship and tricky t was like she does he does not know he feels they are okay you get and then eboka was like but um nengi, um, nengi acts act jealous whenever she is with whenever ozo does something else or someone else like i reported you guys and Nengi was surprised and Nengi went ahead to debunk that that he was not angry at Ozo because Ozo had uh, pecked Dorothy but she has been angry at Ozo since in the morning and that's just it. Everybody knew, everybody saw that I was clearly upset like so why did he have to, why now it's interpreted and I feel like he had a role to play in making it seem that way because that wasn't even the reason I was upset. Actually, I was actually upset since morning. Yes, you heard what Nengi said that she has been angry. I feel she's trying to clear the air. I just feel she's trying to, you know, make it look as if she's not tripping for us. Well, after the whole eviction show, um, Erica now went about trying to talk to everybody about she encouraging Tolani Badge to go for new. She spoke to um, um, Prince. She spoke to Neo that um, she knew about it. And she was, you know, Erica is just always trying to look nice with, before everybody and not wanting to have problem with people because I think when she 
if she feels she has offended you she always wants to clear the air that's just her kind of person you get so that's just if she walked around trying to clear the air that no not like she was trying to encourage tolani badge to scatter the relationship and all that and you was telling her that please if v comes to you do not no mind how you respond please so that people will not have a fight and she was telling him um, knew that yes she knew she knows that v is always very harsh so she doesn't want to go confront her because if she does she might have a problem and you know that erica already have two strikes and one last strong warning and then moving on that same night there is something we actually saw that triggered the title of this video yes if people want to abuse me abuse me but i will report it as it is what is going on here Yes, what you have seen, what were they doing, or what did they do, what did they finish doing? It is not in my place to tell you guys, but me, I know what is in my mind, what I'm suspecting happened. It might be true, it might be lie, and you have the right to also say if it is true or it is a lie. I don't care at this very point. What happened there is, I don't know, they were trying to do some fellowship, they were trying to do some prayer, they were trying to, you know, they, they, they finished or they just finished some meeting that actually happened there. Yes, that is my own opinion, deal with it. And then moving on, at the HOH lounge, you know, Nengi and Ozo were having a conversation and then Ozo was asking Nengi who she would choose if she wins the head of house challenge today and... He, she, she was like she doesn't know you get also was like she should choose new she said no that new has always been has started being in her business lately that um she might so she ended up choosing tricky tea anyway but i was just wishing that kid wire was not on his suspension you get that three week suspension i would have just i wanted to see what would happen yes i like a proposal like that no matter what mm -hmm. i would have loved to see what happened if kid wire was free because i'm sure nengi would have choose kid wire and they were everywhere for scatter if it would just be party scatter hey, <laughs> so that's just it and then moving on during that night while they were we wanted to sleep i don't understand what is nengi's what nengi's moves is what you guys also watch this one and tell me what this moves was What was Nengi trying to do? Was she trying to adjust her bum bum to actually see, let us all see it properly? And then she went ahead to tell us, oh, good night. Good night. What is good about the night? What is good about the night, madam, that you're already trying to seduce me? You're saying good night. Good night for what? In fact, these housemates, they have some moves. And then to crown this video up, guys, Erica, right? So Ozo and them um, who else? Nengi, they got a brand deal from Land Western Pando Potato. In fact, Brito deserves it because Brito is always turning um, Pando Potato. You get so they have a brand deal, and then Erica has a cash prize of two million from someone who promised her a two million cash prize and a, a brand deal for his car business i just hope it's not audio i just pray they give her the money because a lot happened like that for tasha and a lot of audio promises so i just hope erica's home comes through for her and he gives her that two millionaire and the brand deal that he actually promised brighto watoni and tolani badge they have left the house and i'm just like god and thank god that brighto even left with watoni so that they can go and continue what they are actually doing because me i don't understand it i know watoni felt bad that she's leaving because it was just about time for watoni to blossom in the house and then boom they evicted her and yes her guy also went with her so let us watch out and see what watoni and brighto will become if they will become an item as they are out of the house so that's me just coming to report to you guys and also telling you guys that these housemates they are still giving us premium content and your number one amebo tatafo and amebo is here to bring it to you guys as the day hot i don't care what your opinions are whether i'm being biased or not but girl i am not biased i am just giving you guys the gist doing apropos what do you expect from an apropos mistress anyway guys thank you so very much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it 
please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment what your thoughts are in the comment section and i really love to hear read from you guys thank you thank you thank you for watching my video and i will most definitely see you guys in my next video bye guys